Hey folks, another episode with another beautiful cigar today on uh, Puff Puff Cigar. Today, folks, we're going with uh, 2019 release uh, Trinidad Media Luna. Trinidad Media Luna was presented in the Habanos Festival 2019, folks, part of their 50th anniversary and also part of three cigars they're actually going to uh, release in 2019, which they are, you could see some which the Media Luna uh, on the market. Some are still not available. I'm still not able to find. Um, before we get into the details, uh, let's get into the Media Luna first. Media Luna is, as you can see here right in front of you right now, uh, it's 115 millimeter long, 50 uh, ring gauge, uh, pigtail traditional, robusto size. Get back to the lines of uh, Trinidad release in 2019. We will see, as you can see the picture right here, we will see the Topes, which is the middle cigar. And I'm actually a bit uh, familiar with the Topes because it used to be a limited edition in 2016. And we already have a review on it. Actually, one of the first review we made on this channel was for the Topes limited edition 2016. And the biggest one, as you can see, looks like a... a a Toro size or a double Corona perhaps not much detail on it to be honest, but uh, looks like uh, that's what it's going to be If you're interested Esmeralda 54 ring gauge 145 millimeters the top is 56 gauge 125 millimeters. All right folks. Let's cut Enjoy and give you our uh, honest opinion on the Medea Luna Folks, you noticed I uh, tried to twist the pigtail. It wasn't. It was a fail. Um, I always love to try the pigtail first before cutting because there's 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 a purpose for it there. Uh, some reason it was a bit too dried up, so it didn't work out. Uh, cutting it made it much better though. The draw is great. As you can see, retro hail. I'm getting a lot of spices. Right. So let me go to the first third, folks. And I'll get back to you. Folks, back with the uh, Trinidad uh, Media Luna. Impressive, 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 impressive construction. Um, impressive draw. Taste is awesome. Uh, Retro hail, a bit spicy. Not a lot though. You get the tingling in your in your nose. Uh, the finish on your uh, on your tongue, mild, mild spices. Uh, coffee notes. Um, herbal, herbal tones, uh, earthy, definitely, definitely. Uh, that's where we at right now in the first third. Um, I mean, the Vigia is good, guys. Don't get me wrong, uh, but to me, this is uh, this is a, a, a notch higher. Um, I mean, I, I heard someone saying that Vigia is it's in top three of Cubans. <sighs> kind of laughed a little bit but uh, then I went to myself uh, probably like he didn't he didn't have enough Cubans in his repertoire to say that the Vigia is in your top 10 Cubans don't get me wrong the Vigia Trinidad is good but is it really a top three anyway so back to the Medea Luna folks awesome so far let me get to the second third and we'll see how it transitions folks back with the uh, second third of the uh, Trinidad Medea Luna I'm still, uh, I'm still amazed. Honestly, I am still, still amazed by this wonderful, wonderful Vitola. Full packed of flavors, uh, delicious, delicious. I just don't want to, you don't want to stop. Maybe a little knockoff on it is that it's just that it's burning a little bit too quick. Not a much wind. Maybe it's the weather factor, but whatever. I mean, it's not bothering me as far as tasting and enjoying this stick. It is awesome. 
Uh, we're still on the same tone of flavors, although the spices actually toned down a little bit. Uh, you don't, when you're retrohale, there's no more spices, uh, no, no fingering in your nose, uh, nothing. The finish right now on your, on your tongue, um, you can still feed a little bit the spices, but it's mostly those herbal, earthy, um, and those hints, hints of coffee. There's so many things. There's a lot of complexity in this stick, man. A lot of complexity that I'm not able to put my finger on. But this is what you. This is what I love. This is, you know, just a brain. Uh, you just have to to just try to think of it and think and think. It just just, uh, you know. Um, trying to figure out what are those tastes that are just wonderful. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Just a wonderful, wonderful story. Wow. I just got a flavor. I don't even know what it is right now. A little bit of nuttiness too right now. <laughs> Alright folks. Almost drift to the end. Stay tuned. Folks, back with the uh, last third of the uh, Medea Luna. What an enjoyable uh, smoke that is. About, I talked about being a fast burner at the beginning, but it's about a 40, 40 45 minutes um, smoke. Uh, then again, I wasn't, I wasn't going uh, at it. You know, I'm just letting it rest and then going ahead and, and just, you know, uh, and just taking draws on it. But. Uh, Honestly, uh, I am amazed. I am amazed by this uh, by this blend, uh, by the flavors that they're uh, they're consistent. Uh, in a sense that the ones that you're able to pick, they are. And then there's more, uh, always coming and adding and adding and adding complexity to it. But it's just being right now. There's none. There's none. Like uh, from the first to the last third, there's not one time what I said to myself, nah. It was just whoa, whoa! All, always surprised, always uh, wondering what are these, what are these flavors? Uh, packed of flavors, packed with flavors. Uh, this uh, Trinidad Medina Luna, folks. I talked about the spices fading out right now. I retrohaled. I felt it a little bit back. So back at the last third, a little bit of of, of spices um, on your tongue, though. It's the other way around. On the second third, you feel it on your tongue, not when you retrohale. On the last third, when you retrohale, you feel it faded on your tongue. Uh, the finish, uh, the finish is is it's earthy. Uh, those coffee coffee notes, I don't feel them as much as I used to feel them in the f in the first and the second third. Uh, last third is mostly earthy, a uh, little bit of leathery, um, and those herbal, you know, some sort of like herbal, a little bit citrusy, but. Not enough to say that there is, uh, you know, this, this strong citrus uh, notes or taste on it. It's just, it's just wonderful, folks. Honestly, like uh, if you can put your hand on one of these and 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 get it and, and smoke it, go for it, man. Go for it. Uh, yeah, blindfolded, uh, just take that and 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 enjoy that stick. Lay back and enjoy it. Wonderful, wonderful. Medea Luna definitely, definitely made it in my top ten uh, Cuban. So, and trust me, I've smoked a lot of Cubans. So when I tell you this has made the top 10, I, I, I went through a lot of those cigars. So this is a must smoke. All right, folks, hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next episode.